My name's Solomon Brook and I just bought a sailboat. Now, I bought it with my little brother. We're gonna be living on it over the next however long we live on it for and doing it up. Now, we got it for $5,000, which is a pretty good deal for what it is. I gotta move on to it. I'm moving out of my other house and I got about a week or two to fix it up enough for me to move on and then after that, eventually take it sailing or sell it or we'll see. I've also got about a week or two to find a job because I'm about to run out of money after buying this thing. But before you question my financial decisions, um, you should come check out this boat because it's a catch. It's a 55 foot catch. Um, let me show you. As you can see, she needs a lot of work. So we got solar on the back, nice bench. Big boat, big deck. That is our cockpit front deck. Now, let's have a look at the inside. So as we first come in here, it's got a very big living room. Needs a bit of work, a bit of a clean up, as you can probably tell. The front bathroom. Yeah, she'll get there. She'll get there eventually. On the left side here, we've got a kitchen, which for a boat, this is actually quite a nice sized kitchen. Uh, and then the master bedroom at the back with a little office here. Uh, big double bed. You've got a hatch up the top. This is the engine through there, which we'll check out later. Um, and then you've got the side here, mostly just storage uh, and your electricals. This is your batteries down the bottom here. We've got a new 12 volt system on the boat. So yeah, that's the tour of the boat. Obviously there's a lot that needs doing, like this roof here is collapsing. I've got it temporarily held up uh, with a bit of wood, but you know. It's not on the priority list. There's obviously a lot of stuff that needs doing first. All right, so that is mains connected, which means we should now have power. Plug this in here. Yeah, awesome. So right, the plan for today, my dad's coming down to give me a hand. We're gonna try and get the water going and the electricity going. Those are the two priorities and just give it an overall clean up. So today's job, we are gonna be mostly cleaning up this back room because it's where I'm gonna be sleeping. And then, yeah, water and electricity. Another thing that we've got to do is try and keep all the hatches and windows open because it gets quite humid in here um, and all of the wood warps a lot like that. A lot of this floor is warped and a lot of the cupboards are really hard and difficult to open and close um, because they just all kind of soak up the moisture and this place turns into a hot box during the day uh, with all the hatches shut concrete box sitting in the sun full of water um so we need to get a dehumidifier in here open the hatches let it dry out i just opened this hatch you see water coming in there because it was raining last night all right so let's get started on the back room the first day mostly consisted of just clearing out this back area so I could wipe it all down and give it a brush and cleaning the rest of the boat. There was a lot of rubbish that needed checking, chucking out so we did a tip run to get rid of most of that stuff. Shortly after this my phone ran out of charge so I didn't get much more footage but we managed to get the hot water and water pressure working. This is dad working his magic, reconnecting the hot water system and the water pump to get the water around the boat. Hey guys, my name's Jagan. I'm gonna be 
uh, working here with Sol for a couple of days on the boat, seeing what we can do, get her into shape. And yeah, nice to meet you, nice to be on the channel. What we've got planned for today, just some general tidying, sort some of this shit out, get it packed away. Sol's going to be pressure washing upstairs, working on the kitchen, the back room, getting that ready for us to sleep in tonight. Um, general organisation stuff, and then we've got some steaks planned, steaks and beers. Bloody oath. So we want this kitchen all nice and tidy, which, oh yeah, I'll show you a progress report from last time. Um, we got this area a lot more cleaned out. It's back room as well. Looking a lot better. Got this mattress in here now. Custom cut mattress. Bloody ripper. Um, also, I want to show you something. It's bloody. The man who I bought this off. I don't know what was going on, but uh, he's a bit of a flat earther. Save the planet, flat earth cafe. Fema, Flat Earth Mafia Alliance. There you go. There's all stuff. sorts of weird messages and stuff in this boat, so we'll have some fun discovering some shit. But also, the plan is we've got a tarp, and we want to cover up this outside area because that has leaks all through it. But we've got to pressure wash all the bird shit off, all that fungus, all the algae growth. Bloody get this bad boy looking nice and clean. And once we've got this part covered, we can clear this out and make it into an actual nice area to sit. Because at the moment, water gets through and it just sits there. And, you know, it turns into a, turns into a gross concoction or whatever. So it'll be good to get that all nice and cleaned out. So uh, let's get to it. progress report I've pulled out drawers full of random junk random items sort of organize them into rough rough organizations this is our screw pile very full fucking a lot of screws eh? a lot of screws we got fishing we got there's just a lot of random shit it's hard to organize stuff when there's it's all random but yeah so you might have seen me wiping the floor for some water. Um, big dribbles here. Um, I've wiped and messed it up. So this all came visible through the pressure washing. We already knew about most of these leaks, but it's good to know, you know, properly where they are. Um, more leakage here and around this whole section behind Solly there. But that's about it really. Yeah. And that So fucking bloody oath. Jagan's been doing a beautiful job. It's well deserving of these steaks we'll eat later. Um now I was also wanting to check. Yeah look. water here. So that's alright. There's a cover that goes over the top of that, so we don't have to worry about that. I had to take it off while washing it. And that hatch, surprisingly, did not leak. Which is awesome. Did it leak over yet? I don't really see over here actually. No, that looks alright. But that does that is a leaking spot, it's not too bad. Alright. Beauty. What's the problem? They just don't fit. Drawers don't fit, eh? If it's like that. Mm. Does that go like at the top? Maybe? No, no, I don't think so. Whatever that is, some BDSM tool. Uh, nothing to worry about today. That's a tomorrow thing, I reckon. Nice.
Nice. All right, that's the last knot done. This is a, you know, it'll do for now. I will eventually get like an actual proper cover going over here, but until then, that should keep most of the water out and we can keep that hatch open now while it's raining, which is good because there's not much air coming into the boat otherwise. There you go. She's looking beautiful. All right, so that's most of the work we're gonna get done today. Jagan's done a bloody beautiful job, so thanks for the help, Jagan. My pleasure, Sol. And um, we got tarp on, Sounds pressure washed good. the deck mostly, you know, it's looking a lot better than it was. Um, and got a lot of rubbish out. Tomorrow we'll do some more work, but until then, might hit the pub. Yeah, that sounds brilliant. Steaks, maybe. Yeah, go explore the town because I haven't actually looked around town or gone to any of the shops yet, so that'll be cool. Try and make some friends. Check out the local crowd, eh? Yeah. Good morning, guys. It's um, 5.40. We're up. We're going to see the sunrise. We have a, a spot suggested by my co-worker. Should be bloody good. Bloody hell. Let's get it. Just got back to the boat. Literally, overnight, my deck is already covered in bird shit again. Just pressure washed it yesterday. Bloody hell. Right, so today's job is cleaning the cockpit area out. Now we've got a cover on here. Um, it should be able to stay nice and dry and we can clear it out and make a nice seating area. And Jagan's going to be working downstairs, continuing, continuing the bloody cleaning. Let's get amongst it. After finishing off the cockpit, I got started on the back hatch. finished doing all under here under this one so all these cupboards under the things used to be full of junk it's all been cleared out now the floor's been swept all the, all the cupboards have been swept like these cupboards as well um yeah that's all been swept nice but yeah looking like a home nearly getting there go chefy with it like slapping and stuff Mm. Perfect. 
little bird's nest on the shower head right there. I was just going to take this off to take to the hardware store and get a replacement. Bloody bird's nest on it. Alright guys, well that concludes this video. Um, part one of restoration of good old Dorothy also here. Um, Come a long way. It has. So like the video, stay tuned and we'll do another update on Dorothy the, boat, also. the old boat restoration. Alright, see you guys.